Welcome to Witness the Fitness to day three of the 30 day challenge. Today we've got lower body beast. So we're going to work those legs, everything in between. So what I have for you today, we're going to do moves. So it's not rounds like we did on um, upper body beast. It's different moves. We're going to do 20 seconds of up and downs, 20 seconds of pulses, and then 20 second hold. And then we'll go through each exercise. Ta da, pull down, and you're done. Let me get our timer set up so I know how long 20 seconds is. Because when you're talking, at the same time that you're thinking, and at the same time that you're moving, it can be pretty difficult. So I'm gonna put our timer right here so I can see it. And we will get started with a warm up. First is Y to T squats. So Y, and we're open to T. Y. Now, I don't have music going on because of the fact that I cannot do everything at once. And normally I would use Jenna's phone for music. Last T. But since I do not have Jenna, we're going to do lunges with a twist. So we're going to lunge back and twist. Um, because I don't have Jenna here with me, I can't do the music part because I can only have so many things going on in all my different devices. So if you want to listen to music while we're working out, go ahead and blast some. Last one, pendulum swing. So you're gonna swing your foot back and forth. So yeah, listen to some music. Last one, turn it around. I hope that you're having fun so far in this 30 day journey. I'm having a lot of fun making the workouts and doing them with you and rest. All right, world's greatest stretch. You're gonna step out and up, right back. Out, up, back. This is for your back calf. So right now, my calf's being stretched. Two more, one on each side. All right, let's get this party started. First move is a squat. Everyone knows a squat. Feet are hip width apart. We're gonna go down and up. In five, three, two, one, down and up. We're keeping our chest nice and tall. Our knees are staying behind our toes when we squat down. You can put your hands here. You can put them by your head. You can put them out to the side. In front of you, it's whatever you want. I just like them like this. Okay, now we're ready to pulse. So stay low. Really sit in that chair that you got. Pretend that there's a chair right behind you. Woo, your quads are gonna be burning. Mine are already. Five. Four, three, two, stay there, stay there. Do not move a muscle, stay there. We're just gonna, we're just gonna have a nice little breathing sesh right here. Just breathe nice and even, you're almost there. Got three, two, one. Shake it out. Legs are burning already, I love it. Okay, so next move is a leg lift. Your hands are gonna be on your hips, one foot out in front of the other. It's turned out so that the middle of your inner thigh is facing toward the ceiling. You're gonna lift up and down. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah. Take this at your own pace. Take all these exercises at your own pace. It doesn't have to be where I am. You could be going faster than me. 
you could be going slower than me. It's all up to what your range of motion is. Bring it up one more time, now we're gonna pulse. This doesn't have to be a big pulse, just enough. You've got it, you're almost there. Now we will do this one on both sides because we have two legs. But really rotate that leg. You might feel your hip flexor starting to hurt. Can you tap it down for just a second, bring it back up? All right, we're gonna hold it here. If you need to, you can hold it way down here. But if you can, raise it higher. You got 10 seconds. My hip flexors are dying too, it's okay. We'll get through it. Two, one. I've got bugs all over me. I've got mosquitoes. Whew, shake that leg out. Okay. Hands on your hips. Foot out in front. Same thing. Here we go. Up and down. Now you might feel your supporting leg burn. That's normal. It has to support you. But you also might feel the calf of this leg burn. And that's also normal because you're squeezing. Now pulse it. Woo, mama. It's a good burn. Appreciate the burn. Know that it changes you for the better. Woo. Get two. Hold it. Oh, hold it, hold it. Be feeling it right in that inner thigh. You should be shaken by now. Ooh You're almost there. You got 10 more seconds. Breathe. You can do it. Three, two, one. Woo. Give it a little shake. Okay. Next is a backwards lunge. So I'm going to turn sideways for you. You are going to step back. Drop into a lunge, 90, 90, 90 degree angle in the front leg, 90 degree angle in the back leg. And then you're gonna stay with that side because you have to do the pulses and the hold. Okay, I'm starting on my left side. You can start on whichever side is better for you. But here we go. In three, two, one. Down and up, down and up. Your hips are still facing forward. You're drawing a line. This could also be called a split squat. Some people call it that. I prefer to call it a lunge. Okay, one more. Stay here, pulse it. The quad's gonna burn and that's okay. We know that the burn's okay. You might start to shake a little bit, but it's all good. All good. Get three, two, one, hold it. Only 20 seconds. Think of how many ice cream flavors you can think of or how many animals or count in your head or play a little game with yourself. But if you need to distract yourself from the burn, do it. Sink lower, you got five, four, three, two, woo. Shake it out on that side. Okay, going to our right leg. Give you five seconds. Three, two, here we go. Back, up. Now we're not getting our knee all the way on the ground. Maybe a couple inches above the ground, we're hovering. Pulse it. But we're not trying to get our knee all the way down. We don't want to smack our knee on the ground because I promise you will not like me tomorrow to smack your knee on the ground. It's not a fun feeling. You got it, hold. Can you put your hands on your hips? Put your hand on your thigh, whatever you need to do. Smile, smiling is our favorite. If you smile through it, it won't hurt us then. Yeah, five, four, three, two, and up. Nice job. You guys are rocking it. You're my rock stars. Okay. Next move is an attitude lift. So 
You're gonna take your leg back, point the toe, bend the knee a little bit. You're going to lift up and down. Like a pretty ballerina. Pretty ballerina. Cannot use my words. Okay. So put it back, bring that knee, and we're lifting up and down. Make the squeeze come from your butt. So it's coming from your lower back, then you're not using control. You're standing up nice and straight, squeezing from our booty, keeping that leg nice and out to the side. Pulse it, just a little pulse. Make sure you're pulsing from up here, not just from your calf. You got it, you got it. Two, hold. Hold it. Now, you can put your arms out to the side for balance if you need them. Be squeezing your core. You can be leaning forward just a little bit and rest. Whew, shake that leg out because this leg did work too. It had to support you. Alrighty. Other side. Let's go. Put it back. Turn the knee out. Three, two, one. Lift. I know that your legs are getting tired, but we can still push through, right? Yes. Still pushing through. If you have a workout buddy, now would be a good time to start giving them some motivational things to think about and pulse it. I know that when I work out with a buddy, I always try to encourage them and they always try to encourage me because then we both have a better workout if you need it. If you need to put the toe down for just a second, you can. So bring it down, bring it right back up, hold it. You might feel your supporting foot cramp, that's normal. Your calf might be cramping, that's also normal. Just breathe through it, you're almost there. You got 10 seconds. You guys are doing awesome, I'm very proud of you. Nice deep breaths, four, Three, two, whoo, shake it up. Okay. Whew, we're back to another type of squat. So your feet are gonna be a little bit farther than hip width or shoulder width apart. Your toes are turned out at 10 o'clock and two o'clock. And you're just gonna go up and down. That's called a sumo squat. You got five seconds. Two, one, here we go. Down and up, down and up. You're trying to make that flat line in between your two knees. Same thing here, your knees should not be going past your toes. You can put your hands on your hips, from behind your head, now pulse it. Nice little pulses, we're not going up and down, no. staying in one small area. We're almost there, we're almost to the hold. Hold it. You can put your hands here, you can put them behind your head, on your hips, resting on your thighs, but do not move. Don't move, you're almost there. Squeeze every little muscle. All oh, those little muscles in your leg and in your butt. You've got it. Squeeze up. Woo, woo, woo. Got three more exercises. You can do it. Stay with me. Well, four more exercises because one of them we have to do on both sides. All right. Side lunge. You're going to take your hips back. Okay. I'll give you a couple more seconds. Stretch it out. Really get in that mindset. Get a sip of water if you need it. So here we go. But you are only lowering down because your hips are going down. They're going down and back. Not because your chest is forward. We're keeping our chest straight forward. Eyes on the prize. And pulse it. So we're here. Just moving up and down. This one may be a little bit harder to pulse. 
if you've never done it before, but you'll find that little, that little part that you can move up and down just a little bit. Hold it. Both feet are facing completely forward. We're not turned out on this one. Sink a little lower. You can do it. You can do it. Scream, yell. I don't care what you do as long as you don't quit. Do not quit. Stand up. Woo. Hate me today, love me tomorrow. Promise. I never said it would be easy, but I promise it will be worth it. We're going to the other side in five seconds. Three, two, one. Down and up. You can reach your hand down to the ground if that helps you get lower. But remember, we're not keeping our chest down. The only reason we're getting lower is because we're shooting our butt back and we're sinking low into that leg. Pulse it. This is a great one for the inner thighs. So it can for that inner thigh work. Also for booty gains, it's a good one for booty gains. Remember our legs are forward, y'all. Our legs are forward. Got two more seconds here. Hold it. We're squeezing everything. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your hamstring, squeeze all the little muscles in your feet. You're almost there, you got 10 seconds. If you can, sink a little bit lower for me. I know your quads are on fire. No stop in a second and up. Okay. So, our next move is going to be calf raises. You can put your feet right next to each other. So they're a little less than hip width apart. And you're going to raise up and down like you were in high heels. In four, three, two, one. Up, down, up, down. Got to work every part of the legs from the gluteus maximus, gluteus minimus, gluteus minimus, to the quads, everywhere else, everywhere in between. Now we're gonna pulse it, so emphasize the up. Really up, up. See how I'm kind of like rocket? Act like a rocket. You got 10 seconds. This one's gonna burn. I know it will. But breathe through it. You can do it. You're almost there. Three, two, hold it on your tippy toes. Hold it. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your core. Squeeze everything. If you need to put those arms out to the side, you can. But don't stop. The burning is going to stop as soon as you do. So don't stop. Three, two, one. And lower down. Okay, we can push that back. Just so we don't cramp up in the last exercise. All right. So our last exercise is skier squats. So you're going to put your feet together. And you're gonna lower down like you're about to ski. Y'all have ever been skiing before? Okay. We'll go in five, four, three, here we go. Up. Really driving those hips back. Our calves are pretty stationary. Our chest is forward. And by forward, I mean it's facing the direction that you were looking. We're not bending over. None of that. Got two. Stay here and pulse. Your knees can be together or they can be apart. It's whatever you prefer. And just breathe. It's your last exercise. The last one, and then we cool down. So you got it. You've literally got 25 more seconds. Not even. Hold it. You got it. You got it. Don't give up. You got it. You're gonna be okay. You're doing awesome. I'm very proud of you. Just take a nice deep breath. You got five, three, two, 
one, and up. All right, we're gonna cool down. So give me a nice deep inhale up. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. You're gonna bend your knees, kick one foot out, reach for the toe, stretch out those hamstrings. You can touch your nose to your knee. That's cool. If you're not, that's also cool. So we're not trying to reach for our toe with a bent knee. Everything's gotta be straight leg. Bring it up, bend the knees, kick one foot out, reach for that toe. You might also have a side that's more flexible than the other one, and that's totally fine. It's an imperfect, like an imperfection that every single one of us has. One of our sides is always stronger than the other, always more flexible than the other. For me, it's my right side. We're gonna grab the foot, pull it back. This is stretching out your quad. If you need to hold on to something to balance, whether it's a friend or a significant other or a couch or a wall, do whatever you need to, or a tree. Woo, other side. Just be feeling it right up through that quad, all the way up from the knee to the hip. Can wiggle them out a little bit. Twist your hips, see if they'll pop. Oh, I got a pop. All right. Take one more deep inhale with me. And exhale. You did it. Day three is in the books. I'm so proud of you. Go check out Jenna's 30 day challenge as well. I'm doing the 30 day fitness challenge. She's doing the 30 day yoga challenge, guys. Yoga. So if you're feeling tight after these workouts, go check out hers. They'll also be on the Witness the Fitness YouTube page, or there's also a playlist that you can click on. It's 30 day yoga challenge. I'll see you tomorrow.